Hello and welcome all. In this series, we are going to learn about JavaScript. We are going to understand what is JavaScript, why should we use JavaScript, what is the purpose of using JavaScript, everything about JavaScript we are going to see. We are going to see features of JavaScript, advantages of using JavaScript, advantages of learning JavaScript, everything we are going to see in this series. So before getting started, it will be very easy when we understand what we are going to study in this series. So first let me just show you the table of content. Then later on I will be starting this series. Each and every topic I am going to explain you with beginner level as well as intermediate level and advanced level. And in this complete series, we are going to make plenty and plenty of projects. On each concept, we are going to make project so that it will be easy for everyone to understand the concept in more better way. Okay, so let's get started with this table of content and then I will be uploading each and every topic of JavaScript so that it will be easy for you to learn JavaScript and get started with JavaScript. Okay, so let's begin with this series and I welcome you all to this series. If you learn this and if you see this complete series, then you will be having lots in your portfolio because we are going to do tons and tons of projects in this series. Okay, so let's get started with this. Okay, first we are just going to see introduction to programming with javascript okay first we are going to understand what is javascript why javascript advantages disadvantages every concept we are just going to see in the introduction then we are going to understand how javascript is used in real world okay where javascript is used what is the purpose of javascript in programming how it is used everything we are going to see then we are going to set up visual studio code okay there are plenty of editors whichever editor you are comfortable you can choose that editor okay in this complete series we will be using visual studio code then we are going to see introduction to programming okay we all know javascript is programming language c++ is programming language but we don't know what is programming so we will understand what is programming then we will understand why javascript is used having let const okay everything we are going to see in this variable section then we will come programming in javascript okay first we will understand what is programming then we will see how to do programming in javascript then data types we are having operators and expressions everything we are going to see control statements we are having loops we are having for loop while loop do while loop everything we are going to see in this control statements then functions we have functions how to return a function how to pass arguments how to pass parameters everything we are going to see in this functions then we have objects we are having destructuring of objects okay all the objects and objects related things we are going to see then strings we are having string methods how to lower the string how to give uppercase reversing the string all the methods we are going to see in the strings then we have arrays in the same way how we have string methods in the same way we have for arrays so we are going to see arrays and arrays methods then we will learn about math objects rounding numbers okay everything ceiling rounding everything we are going to see in this then js dates okay how many types of dates we have how many formats we can write the dates in dates we are going to learn that map method reduce method and filter method okay these three methods are very very important in react if you are learning react then also these three methods are very very useful in each and every project these three methods are used and it is almost used in each and every project then we will learn more about javascript after learning all this concept maybe we will make this project here or we will learn more about javascript or we will summarize this entire thing then we have js versions okay if you have heard about ecmascript we have many ecmascript okay ecmascript 6 7 8 okay based on that features we are going to learn what are the concepts we have in that features we are going to see that if i take an example of ecmascript we have let we have const we have plenty of things in ecmascript because of that ecmascript javascript has become very very popular okay so we are going to learn all the features 2014, 15, 16, 17. We will learn all the JS versions and also what are the concepts present in that. We are going to see each and everything. Then we have DOM and BOM. If you have not heard about BOM, it's fine. It's completely fine. But this is also a concept in JavaScript. We will learn completely about that. 
then we have advanced term okay when it comes to advanced term we are going to make projects in that once we make this projects then you will understand about dom completely what is dom where we have to use dom everything you will understand then we have advanced worm after studying about dom i will be telling you about worm and also we are going to make one project in this after that we have events okay click events we have input events we have multiple events in javascript we are going to see every event in javascript and also we are going to make projects of each concept so that it will be easy for you to understand this topics then we have event propagation we are going to see what are callbacks then we will see callback hell then we will be seeing the advanced topics like we have promises we have after promises we will do a simple project then we will see what is async and await then again we are going to see project in this and we will see what are error handling how to fetch apis how to display the api data and each and every topic after that i will be teaching you a simple program okay a kind of project so that all the concepts will go into your head then we will learn about cookies in javascript we have storage how to store the data then we will see about session storage oops in javascript and inside this we are going to see classes and objects we have constructors we have inheritance method overriding what are setters and getters destructuring okay if you are not aware of this topic and if you are hearing this for the very first time it's completely fine because i will be teaching you completely from the scratch okay once you learn all these concepts then it will be very very easy for you to make any kind of project in javascript and you will be ready for your job okay then we are going to see i i f e okay this also many people are not aware of this topic but i will be teaching you completely from the scratch okay this nothing but it is immediately invoked function expressions okay when we come to this particular session we are going to learn completely about this then we have scopes we have many scopes in javascript we are going to see that we have closures we are having hoisting everything okay and after this also we are going to see many topics maybe i have not included this in table of content but that also i am going to teach you if i feel that topic is important and that should be taught to do any kind of project that also i will be including in the middle okay and after that we are going to see interview questions in javascript what are the most probable questions that will be asked in any interview when i was doing job what were the questions asked for me regarding this javascript i will be telling you that i will be giving you each and every example of the interview questions i will be telling you stories so that you can easily grasp that question and you can easily answer that one then we are just going to see js projects i will be making most probably 50 to 60 projects in javascript on each concept i will be making on each topic i will be making the project and also i will be giving you multiple programming questions so that you can solve by yourself and also i will be providing you the solution once you see this complete series then you are almost 80% ready with javascript and 20% you will learn by doing lot of practice by doing lot of projects by understanding the concept by revising each and everything okay it's all in our hand if we want to study if we want to do anything then we can complete it then we can achieve this so let's get started into this series and let's understand each and every bit of javascript and finally learning continues learning has no end okay this is all about the table of content and these are the things we are going to learn in this javascript series i will be walking you through step by step process i will be explaining you each and entire concept from depth till you understand the concept that's it for today's session next session we are going to start with this series we are going to directly jump into the introduction of javascript why javascript is used where it is used how it is used everything we are going to see one by one okay let's get started into this journey let's begin with javascript